welcome to the first ever edition of uh, Muscle Cook TV, uh, your online bodybuilding cooking show. Uh, pretty excited, guys. It's the first, hopefully, of a long, long series of video. So today we're gonna cook one of my favorite recipe, if not my favorite recipe, um, my turkey meatloaf. So let's get started. All right, for this recipe, what you need? You need two pounds of ground turkey or ground chicken. Doesn't matter, pretty much the same thing. I like ground turkey, I like it tastes, tastes a little bit different, I like it. What do you need? You need olive oil, you need one onion, all right, white onion, red onion, whatever. Um, dried tomatoes, some dried tomatoes. I won't put any tomatoes in my recipe because I don't like tomatoes. So it's the only thing I don't eat and for some reason I don't like it. So I won't put it in my recipe but you guys can put it, put some tomatoes at home in your recipe. Um, eggs, we need some fresh parsley. Actually I got some. Fresh parsley I just bought this morning and low fat, low fat parmesan. Skim milk. Skim milk. I got one percent here, but it's roughly the same thing. Actually, one percent has a little bit less sugar than skim milk. So that's pretty good. Uh, salt and pepper in here, and some oregano. That's basil. All right. There you go. Perfect. Let's start. First thing you want to do, let's get out of the way. Right chop, right chop the garlic. Well, earlier, so put it there. You want to chop your onion. This recipe is pretty cool because you can cook a big batch. So basically, you can have meals like for the whole week. That's the cool thing. I do it every Sunday. It's a rainy day today, it's a perfect day to cook. And basically, do it every Sunday. Just cook my big batch of turkey meatloaf. Gives me about like, I don't know, 10 meals maybe. So more than a week actually, 10 days. All right, once you cut your onions, what do you want to do? Pan with a tablespoon of olive oil. There you go. That's done. You want to start with that. You want to cook your onions first. All right. So we, we got that. We're gonna chop some parsley now. Not a whole lot. Like not like too much. A little bit. Handful. Plenty. Where's my knife now? There it is. All right. We'll just chop your parsley. Start mixing. So you want to start turkey. Started last week on sale at my butcher shop for about how much was it? Eight bucks a kilo. That's pretty cheap. That's actually very cheap. So you want to add with all your turkey. You can do a big bowl like that. A big turkey bowl. I'm gonna mix my my meat in there and all the other ingredients. So you can do all that while you're Onion is cooking. That's a whole lot of meat, but I I double the recipe now. So I'm doubling the recipe. So on the website, you're gonna see it says two pounds of turkey, but I'm actually gonna cook a little bit more than four pounds today. So it's gonna be a big batch. Cool thing about this recipe too is that you can cut your, your meat loaf into squares. Like you know, I, I cut it in about eight ounces, like squares. And you can freeze your meatloaf. You freeze your portions, and when you want to eat it, take it out of the freezer, just put it in the microwave for about, I don't know, like three or four minutes, and it's done. Get the meal ready. All right, turkey's in there. Adding the parsley. All right, half a cup. There you go. A little fat parmesan. Breadcrumbs. Whole wheat breadcrumbs, if you can find some. If you can't, not a big deal. But usually most grocery stores got whole wheat breadcrumbs. So 
There you go. Four wheat. You want one cup of breadcrumb. Again, doubling the recipe. Two cups for me. One cup. That's about it. There you go. That's about two cups of breadcrumbs. Cool. Yes. Two eggs for my recipe. Skim milk. Half a cup of skim milk. Where's my milk? Right here. Skim milk or one percent milk. A little bit of salt and oregano. Uh, about like a tablespoon. And your onion. Cooked onion. All right. So the, everything's ready to mix. What you want to do? How you mix that? Your hands. Make sure one thing. Wash your hands first. Always do. I know if you've put your hands before, so just wash your hands. All right, so just mix everything with your hands until, you know, it forms a nice, ooh, nice mix, like, you know, until everything's mixed together. Now, see, it's all mixed together, let me show you. That's what it should look like, all right? Now, I put the mix in a big glass pan. You can use the cake, baking pan, no big deal, same thing. I like, I prefer um, the glass pan just because you can see through, like you can see if it's cooked or not. Alright? One thing as well, now you can start preheating your oven at about 375 Fahrenheit. Perfect. Alright, so let's take that big mix. There. Some left butter. There you go. Perfect. This side. All right. So if you mix in the pan, the oven's at 375. I'm gonna stick that pan full of meatloaf mix right in there for about 30 minutes. So 30 depends. Like 30, 40 minutes. Um, and just check on it. Don't overcook it. You don't want you don't want your loaf to be too dry. Eh? So just make sure. Thirty minutes usually it's perfect, perfectly cooked. So we'll be back in thirty minutes. All right, folks. It's been about thirty minutes now. I cleaned up my cooking station. Let's find out how it turned out. Oh yes, smells good, guys. Smells good. Oh, I'm going to show you. There you go. Big turkey meatloaf. Alright folks, that was my turkey loaf. Uh, my name is Dave Rule, and I'll see you next time on Muscle Cook TV. Take care.